At the beginning of the Formula One World Championship, you were more likely to see the best drivers in the world competing in a smart shirt and trousers than anything resembling a set of racing overalls like we see today. Legends of the 1950s like Juan Manuel Fangio won world championships in basic day-to-day -day clothing, while Britain's Mike Hawthorne was quite partial to including a bow tie as part of his race attire. Those who did wear overalls in the early days were sporting something similar to what you might see your mechanic wearing in the local garage. And while overalls did become more substantial through the 1960s, it wasn't until 1975 that proper fireproof standards were required by the FIA. The timing of that change proved to be crucial, as just one year later, Nicky Lauda miraculously survived his horrific fireball accident at the Nürburgring. In the years that followed, bulky, multi-layer suits became the norm, although in the 1980s and 1990s, as technology advanced, race suits began to slim down again while offering increasing levels of fire protection. In the 21st century, more attention started to be paid to driver comfort and, most crucially, saving weight. And as we found out on a recent visit to Puma's factory in Italy, today the manufacturers go to extreme lengths to save every gram they can for the teams. Welcome to Puma Motorsport. Here is where everything started. Our production of racing suits. Please come. We start from the measurement chart of the driver with all the measurement of the body we take from the driver. And then we translate this to the real pattern. Our pattern maker, Michela, is working on the pattern of this suit for Sebastian. We go to placing all the details of the suit in, in terms of technical details, fabric, accessories, and so on, and also all the logo positions. We have the list of the logo, the dimension of the logo, all the distance between each, each logo. When we finish with all the patterns, we, we go to the final stage. This is the final layout of the suits which we are ready to transfer to the factory. Hello, my name is Alessandro Gambino. I'm in charge with graphic and design. Uh, I'm working uh, right now on the Ferrari suit. Uh, basically, my, my work starts from a technical sheet provided by F1 teams, and I work on real patterns. And then I, I put the information about logos, colors, positions uh, on the real suit. Uh, of the drivers. Hi, my name is Andrea Roggero and what I do here is all about planning and schedule for the stuff uh, um, which the drivers and the crew needs uh, along each uh, race season. We get from them uh, um, their needs, their schedule, race by race, uh, and we transfer the information to the manufacturing and, uh, and so uh, race by race uh, we make sure that uh, they got all the stuff in time. Welcome to the factory. I will show you where everything is made and please come in. Here is where everything starts from the beginning, starting from the cutting of the fabric. We are cutting by hand because we are doing very few suits every day. There are custom suits for drivers. Let's go into detail to understand why the Puma suit is, is the best one. First of all, you have to know that a suit like this, a Formula One suit, like this, 10 years ago, was 1.5 kilo, roughly. Now it's 700 grams, so we reach half of the weight. We work on the external material, we work on the inside material, we work on a lot of small details. Something curious like this one, this is the standard zipper we, we put on standard suits. And this zipper puller is in metal, is it too heavy? And we replace it with this fabric look, so in this way we can gain two grams. Two grams could be nothing for everybody, but for the Formula One engineer it's a lot. And then we work also on other, it's like this, we, we, we make holes on the Velcro just to gain some tens of gram. And then talking about the, um, the fitting and the comfort of the driver, we work on all details to have all the wiring or the cable going from the cockpit to the helmet. And we work also on the stitching. For example, one of the sensible areas for the driver in contact with the seat is the side of the pants. We don't have any, any stitching on the side of the pants. And when we have to do some stitching like this one on the side of the chest, the stitching is super flat 
and is not, you can see in the inside what you see on the outside. Here we are in the embroidery department where we embroider our suits. This machine can embroider the six suits in a, in a row. Now we are just working on three suits. And this is the layout of all the logo we are going to embroider in these suits. And the whole embroidery is made by, we can see here in the computer, five, seven hundred thousand dots to, to have everything done. You can see here every single needle carry a different color. So we have, when we have to switch from one color to the other one, the machine do it automatically. And when the machine finish, it cut the thread and we just have to clean the embroidery and we are ready to go to the stitching process. Now we are in the last stage, the stitching stage. Here where we put together all the different fabric you saw during the cutting stage. So they are putting together the outside layer with the inside layer, layer through this quilting box stitching. And when we have all the panels prepared like this, they put together all the panels and we have the final suit ready at the end of the line stitching. So this is the very, very first stage, the final inspection. If she's checking if everything is okay inside and outside, stitch some thread, loose thread around the suits. And then when everything is fine, here we have our lightweight suits for Formula One.